Good morning. I'm elated to be here. This is Joy News Interactive. I'm Benis Abu Beidou. Now, today we have this on our plate, talking about polygamous men and some studies that suggest they live longer. We hear what you have to say about that and whether or not you'll be compelled to be in a multiple relationship because polygamous men live longer. And we'll also be doing some sports because the Black Stars have qualified to AFCON 2017, but it looks like uh, a lot of Ghanaians aren't interested as we used to. And we'll also be talking about a great man who passed uh, some days ago, Muhammad Ali. Uh, so yeah, this year's how to get interactive with us. Get onto Facebook, find us with the name Join News on TV. We post the various issues there. Go there, leave your comments in the comment section. You can also find us on Twitter. Tweet at us at Joy News on TV or at JN Interactive GH. Uh, you can also get interactive with us via WhatsApp. The number is 0560 800000. 0560 800000. Now, if you Google polygamous men live longer, you may be surprised at the number of studies that suggest that they do. Now, I am used to hearing polygamous men are more stressed than their monogamous counterparts. Now, I remember a movie I watched while growing up and there was this man who died out of the stress his four wives gave him. And that really has formed my perception about polygamous, uh, polygamous marriages. But um, this study probably is reshaping what I think about it. Now, this is what some people think about the study that suggests polygamous men live longer. Men who marry more than one wife, they live longer. Actually, uh, from my own point of view, I don't think, I mean, that is the case. <laughs> because marrying more than one, I mean, wife, I think rather puts more pressure and stress on you than, I mean, handling one person. So I don't think that's possible and it's true from my own point of view. Sometimes the way the ladies behave towards the men give them opportunity to go in for another wife. But if the wife is giving the person a good living, I don't think he will go in for another woman. So it will depend the way the wife lives with the husband. So, you know, we, may, we want happiness. So all the time if there is happiness in the house, I don't think the man will go out. But if there is no happiness, well, you know, you will find some place to go and sit and have some fun. That one will bring another one. But if there is happiness in the house, all the time she will always come in the house, they will pray with the kids, pray with you, then everything will be okay. Men who have more than one wife, why not? They live longer. It depends on how you uh, share your love with them, how you... I don't know, well, I, because uh, so far I've not heard any man who has more than one wife uh, which has not lived long, I know. Most uh, uh, men I know who has more than one wife, they, they live long. To me, I'll say no. Yeah, simply because um, even one, being with oneself, um, you can't, um, sorry to say, um, you can't give her enough of um, love making like in, when it comes to to make love because um, back those years our ancestors our grandfathers and stuff they couldn't even fill up the holes sorry and so you taking more than one how can you give them their sexual this thing what if all of them fall for sex at the same moment at the same time, the same minute. Will you give it to them? You can't. Because um, after making love with a woman, you'll be weak. Um, and then it takes away part of your blood. So let's say in a day you lose this um, three or two bottle of blood. Where are you going? You are digging your own grave little by little. That's why as a young man, you need not to jump from women to women and as a young lady you need not to jump from men to men yeah to me that's how i say it hmm 
<laughs> I don't know what to make of these comments, but well, I, as it is, it's varied. Some think that, yes, uh, it's true. Others don't agree so much. But I'll come back to take your messages on WhatsApp. But now let's move on to sports. The Black Stars have qualified for AFCON 2017 after they beat Mauritius over the weekend. But it seems a lot of people aren't surprised or really excited because it's actually their... I mean, seventh consecutive success in qualifying for the AFCON. Now, it looks like a lot of us want more from them. Take a listen. The Black Stars are, I think, second in Africa in terms of the FIFA rankings. So it's, it's a normal thing for them to qualify for the AFCON. Oh, it's normal. You know, these are our Black Star players now. If you give them support, uh, what they will do, they will do it. If you have been qualifying, 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 bring us the cap, they are not bringing us the cap. So it's a normal thing. If they bring the cap, then we will celebrate them. If they will continue like the way they have been breaking our hearts, so be it. Yeah. So that's for the blaster. Yesterday, you, if you watch their match, like with these people, have to give them about 10 nil. But see the way they are praying, as if they are making training. So this. With this, how can this one take us far away? So if they want us to celebrate them, they should do what we, the supporters, want. They will take the money, we will be getting the heartbreak. So they should do what our heart wants. Oh, actually, I'm very excited. I'm hearing that they've qualified for the outcomes. And, uh, I just hope for the, I mean, better for them throughout, I mean, their uh, activities in, in, in the AFCOM. I'm hoping that this time they don't fail us again, that they rather bring us the cap. That's all what I expect from them. Men who m m marry more than, more than one, they live longer. Okay, that, it has to do with happiness, do you understand? So if you marry one and the woman can give you happiness, I think you also live longer. That's what I can say, yeah? <laughs> yeah, it's, it pays to have a good wife. And I thank God I have one, yeah? <laughs> oh, it's a normal thing. It's, it, it's, it's possible they can qualify for uh, the Afghan match uh, because uh, uh, Blaster is doing very well, we all know. and. Uh, uh, we we are strongly behind in prayers anyway. So, yeah. Probably to me, um, it's something very great um, because I'm a citizen of Ghana, and um, as a Ghanaian, I support my team throughout, and then they've won. So it's awesome. It's great because I'm a Ghanaian, so I'm happy for them. Um, I salute them all for being um, the best for us, for doing whatever we want them to do for us um, i'm happy I know issues of marriage and polygamy would always find their way into something. But Andre Dede Ayu, who captained the side during that match with Mauritius, is feeling the apathy from Ghanaians. So he wants to know why majority of Ghanaians are not interested in the Black Stars again. So let's get onto Facebook. Let me just read a bit of what he shares and then we'll pick your comments on that. Now, um, so interim Ghanaian captain Andre Ayu wants to know why majority of Ghanaians are not interested in the Black Stars as again this and this is a quote from him this past one and a half year has been difficult between the black stars and fans and we have to be honest are you told the media now for me as a leader and with other leaders and my colleagues it's very painful and he also says when we played against mozambique the stadium wasn't full but when hearts of oak played kotoko i was in france but i saw the stadium was full it's painful and he says i have to be honest um Ghanaians want us to win, and we have been winning, but we still don't feel the support, he said. So some of you have been commenting on this, and that was, story was actually um, picked up from my colleague, Baba Tando's page, and she's a, one of our sports reporters. So yeah, Dom Lugard says, it all started at Brazil. Uh, instead of them to play for the country, they were fighting over bonus. That is why we stopped watching their game. They should sacrifice like their former captain Tornado did for the Black Stars. Okay. Nene Nate Opata says, I beg, is it true that the Black Stars played over the weekend? I didn't even hear. You see the level of apathy. How come the Black Stars was playing and then they didn't hear about it? Well, Matthew Imbowuni says, they are now working for money. So everyone needs to do his work on the day they play their matches. 
So while they are working for their money, we will also be working for our money. Interesting. Kojo J. Miki says they should talk to their leaders to stop embezzling our money and concentrate on winning trophies for us. Uma Halifa says, trophy is all we want. That's all. Kobe uh, Brown says, when they spend our money too much, I'm sure he's leaving the rest for you to add. Uh, Prince Levin Basumdunia is shaking his head and Prince uh, Nuruddin Baumia says, that's a rhetorical question. But I'm just... I'm just wondering, um, he says that he saw the match between Asante Kotoko and Accra Hatsupuk and the, and the stadium was full and it was painful, but really did he think about how they also felt when Black Stars at the stadium filled to capacity when they were playing and they didn't? Well, but let's also get on to um, my colleague's page where the, the original post is from because some of you have also been commenting then would like to uh, let the rest of the world hear what you have to say so we could just pick up some comments quickly now on that and uh, brenda nafari says baba tando tell him we are bored with them because they just play for our money and not to win trophies at all costs they always fail when it matters most ghanaians our hearts, our hearts are broken Justice Bedu said they should cut down on their per diems and bonuses. Papa Nyami Esuan says, trophy, oh, trophy. That is all we want, not just plain. We don't need Ghana Arsenals. And he's laughing at, the, hey, Papa Nyami, please, Arsenal fans don't like that. And Kumi Junior says, Baba, please ask the day what they have won for the country that they deserve our support. Interesting comments here on Joy News Interactive. Uh, Black Stars captain, uh, well, interim captain, Dedea, you want to find out why there's so much apathy towards them now. Why aren't Ghanaians interested in what they do? And we're also, you know, interrogating a study that suggests that polygamous men live longer. You're watching Joy News Interactive. When I come back, there's more to discuss. Please don't go away. <laughs> Joy News Interactive is brought Thanks for staying on Joy News Interactive with me, Benis Abu Bedu. Today we've been discussing some really, really interesting subjects. Do polygamous men live longer? Well, a study suggests that, but we have counter studies of that. But here's what some of you have been saying about that. Um, this one says, I don't see the correlation between polygamy and longevity, longevity Sorry, except that most polygamous men in the past were stronger and richer this is jeffrey asari from kumasi jeffrey what's the basis of your your assertion but this one says i think buying two or more wives brings more confusion and separation and uh, this is from felix uh, who is in navrongo this one says personally i do not support polygamy because of religion secondly i think it's a waste of resource and energy this is k samson in kumasi okay uh, a lot of you are sending us more comments. This one says, it's not true. God knows best. That is why he says, one man to one woman. And he's quoting 1 Corinthians 7 to Joshua. He says, pressure will kill you early. And this is Ora Beidou at the Sebret Pharmacy in Konongo. Thanks for your message. Okay, so let's move on to Black Stars and, uh, well, all the apathy and all the, the news around them. And this one says that, is black stars still around are they still around uh, you don't you don't feel them because they always fail you and this is from fati in mankesim nantoma mama dubadis mugu says i didn't even hear about the match at all that's also another thing a lot of us well what's the cause i mean i'm disappointed because last year we we were just within that night i couldn't sleep over black stars broke my heart but but really is that the reason why a lot of us have decided to just forget about them and move on with our lives captain interim captain uh Dede, you wants to find out why is it that you're not supporting them like you used to well a lot of you are sharing your comments with us and um this one says god will not give us a spoon until we separate our politics from football this is camille uh, in tamale thanks for your message this one is also talking on polygamy it says i think polygamy is good because it releases stress and uh, as a man you get enough care if the wives are good so if they are not good it means more pressure anyway it says now if a married man is not satisfied at home uh, as you're being starved oh okay you definitely get a mistress in addition but the awful thing is you cannot formalize her though 
I don't know if I should mention your name. Are you comfortable, Pa? Okay. I just did. But you're saying that you're not getting what you want, so you can look elsewhere. All right. So this one says, we don't know the kind of support the Black Stars want from us again. Our hearts have been uh, trampled upon. We are simply tired. This is Mustafa in Adabra Castle. Well, Dede, we hope you are listening to us. We are tired. We want more. We want more than just qualifying to the AFCOM. We want you to bring the cup home and maybe if you do that you will win the hearts of Ghanaians again okay a lot of you are sending in your messages but let's move on in my entire time of following trending issues I've never seen any person trend as much as this man yes I'm talking about Muhammad Ali since news of his demise on Friday evening tributes have poured in and social media has been buzzing about the greatest of all time. You have people like Serena Williams, you have uh, Stephen Curry, you have uh, people like Usain Bolt all coming out to call him the greatest of all time. Oprah Winfrey and the likes have also come in to pour their tributes uh, uh, to this very great man. Now, it's not the usual rest in peace that's trending, you know, because usually when someone dies, you just say, oh, rest in peace, rest in peace. But his quotes and videos are trending so much. And one of I've come across is uh, the one that apparently is to one of his daughters telling her that gold and other rich mineral resources need to be dug for they are hidden in the depths of the earth and that's why a woman must cover up because she's worth more and men need to go deeper to find out what's in it interesting this man has I mean on Facebook on Twitter on YouTube everywhere is Muhammad Ali so this young lady decided to also let the whole world know that she also knows Muhammad Ali. So on our Facebook page, I posted a tweet from this young woman. And you can't believe what she did. Let me read a bit of it to you. She said, rest in peace, Muhammad Ali, the greatest footballer of all time than Maradona, Messi and Ronaldo. It's not by force. I mean, if there's something that's trending and you want to comment about it, just get your facts right. But some of you have been commenting on this, so let me just read the comments. Gloria Greenish uh, says, at Anadita, footballer, please consult Wikipedia or something before you post on subject. It is clear you have no knowledge uh, and you're showing ignorance. Mashuda Biola says that what she wrote, um, does she have a reason for that? Maybe it's cliche from where she hails or oh, with some friends <laughs> okay these Ghanaians are too for uh, okay it's not about the shortfall it's not about the shortfall machine it's just interesting that someone who called Mohammed Ali a footballer Mama Bako just says I had just seen a friend telling me about this it's a shame but even the greatest men die eventually but he died leaving a great legacy behind him and he helped set the path for many black men who wanted to follow in his footsteps, okay? Uh, the man dies, but the legend lives on. This life is not real. And this is a quote from Muhammad Ali. And I said, his quotes have been trending. I think everything he says can be captured in a quote. This says, this life is not real. I conquered the world and it did not bring me satisfaction. God gave me this illness to remind me that I'm not number one. He is, hashtag Muhammad Ali. Well, uh, we know that he'd had a Parkinson's disease for well over 30 years. But Ishmael Idris says, clarification is all that we need before drawing conclusions. For all you know, we don't understand what she meant. So we need to seek uh, for clarification from her. Okay, Prince Nat laughs and says he's laughed and entered the Commander Sugar Factory. Hey, Ghanaians, okay. Simeon Mede says, when you see the trending and you don't want to copy and paste because you know better, and he's laughing at that. Mamiya Sid Namichel laughs and says, I better not comment. Uh, okay, I think I, I'm not sure I can read this. It's actually in cheaper. Please forgive me. I'm not too conversant. Isaac, the showman, says maybe she wanted to say sportsman, but that's still a bump. Francis Yao Salome says no need to hide her identity, Joy FM. This photo has been trending since morning. Okay, so there you have it. Someone tried to show her love to. Mohammed Ali and, and, and tries to swim in the sea of trending issues and eventually messes up because she calls Mohammed Ali a footballer. He's not a footballer. He's the greatest of all time, a boxer, a legend, many 
are pouring in their tributes to him. But, but well, that's how we wrap up on Joy News Interactive today. Before I leave, let me just pick a few of your comments. Uh, this is Felix from Navrongo, and you're saying, I think the Black Stars keep on breaking our hearts. We want them to bring the cup home this time around. And this one says, we are not satisfied with qualifying for AFCON, but we need the cup. This is from John Ahiachi in Joje. And the last one says that, she doesn't know anything about him, and this about the lady who tweeted that Muhammad Ali was a footballer. On that note, I take leave of you, but don't forget that uh, the interaction continues on all our social media platforms and Facebook. Find us with the name Joy News on TV, same name will find us on Twitter and Instagram. Alternatively, you can leave us a message uh, on the WhatsApp number 0560 800,000. You can send us a video of yourself, whatever's happening in your community that you like the rest of the world to know. I've enjoyed every moment of today's show with you. My name is Benis Abubedu. Thanks for your company.